Etrachan sighed. Sorry, I think I'll be late tonight. I'll see you later. All right, it's too bad you have to work on a Saturday. Take care. I'm Sitsuchi. My mother-in-law passed away last year, and we've been living with my father-in-law at his house in the countryside for six months. Is he working today, Tsutsuji? Oh, hi, Katsura. Yeah, he seems especially busy recently. I'm sorry to keep you so busy out here. Oh, don't worry about it. I feel safe with you around the house. I'm glad you feel that way. Katsura is my father-in-law. He was very mature, but I still felt a little nervous around him. Coming! Who is it? Keep your eyes on your drinks, son. Hello, we're the Tachibanas. We just moved in next door. It's nice to meet you. My name is Akane, by the way. Oh, is that so? It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Here's a gift. Oh, thank you so much. Well, well, hello there. Hello. Oh, this is my father-in-law and my son. My husband is out at work right now. Oh, your son's around the same age as our son. Great to meet you. We'll see you around then. Bye. I'm glad they seemed nice. A few weeks later. Tokusa, isn't it time for school? Hurry up and get ready. Everyone's waiting on you. Your dad and grandpa have already left. Yeah, but Tachiban is always late anyways, so there's no point in getting there early. Oh, really? It's a rule in our district that children in the same neighborhood have to all walk to school together. Our son and Tachibana's son were in the same grade. But they must have not gotten along very well, because I've never seen them play together. Have fun! I will! It would be nice if they got along because they're neighbors, but it's not up to me. Hey, everyone's here to pick you up! Wake up already! What? He's not even awake yet? Noon. I've got to buy some shampoo. Oh, hi there, Akane. Hello. Oh, yeah, Tsutsuji. Is there a drugstore nearby? Yeah, but even the closest one is a short drive away. I see. My husband took the car to work. I'm about to go shopping if you'd like a ride. Are you sure? That would help so much. Everyone around here has their own car, huh? Yeah, you need one in the countryside or you're stuck. I never needed one because we used to live in the city near a train station. That sounds very convenient. And you know my son. Oh, I get you. Akane and I were around the same age, and our children were classmates. So we had had a nice conversation, but... Thanks for today. You saved me. So yeah, would you show me the electronics store tomorrow? I'm sorry, I have work tomorrow. But the electronics store is right along the main street. The bus will take you right there. When are you free? Huh? When do you have time? Um... After that incident, I decided not to get too involved with her. Oh, it's Tsutsuchi! We're late for school. See you! Morning! Oh, good morning! I was trying to avoid her. Coming! <sighs> What's wrong, Akane? So my son goes to the after-school daycare center every day, but the staff changes every day and I'm worried for him. Huh? Why is she coming to me about this? My son doesn't even go to daycare. Uh-huh, maybe you should call and discuss that with the daycare center. I gotta... I wonder who's in charge. How do I find out? She won't leave. Why don't you ask Karin? I heard her son goes to daycare. Well, you know, I've never talked to her. You're a grown-up, so act like one. And after that... My son has a presentation. I'm not sure. You should ask the teacher. Do you know who owns that land over there? No. You should ask the city hall. She would stop by to ask me questions and favors all the time. You look tired. Are you fine, Tsutsuji? Yeah, just a little mentally exhausted. And one day... Tsutsuji, my mother fell ill, so I have to go see her. Do you mind watching my son for a bit? What? Oh, that's terrible. Katsura? I'm so sorry.
sorry to bother you on your day off. A lot has happened and... It's fine. I'll be here to watch him, too. Katsuna? Are you sure? Thank you, sir. We're here to help each other out, right? Wouldn't you think to call first? Or is that just me? Man, I'm thirsty. He's come prepared, too. Hey, Tokusa, is that a new game? Hand it over! Hey! Tachibana-kun. Huh? It's not good to eat snacks while you play games. And after that... Don't sit like that, it'll ruin your posture. Did you say thank you? Don't put your elbows up on the table. You aren't supposed to walk into other people's kitchens. My father-in-law used to be a high school teacher and was strict even towards other people's children. I want to go home! <laughs> you want to take a shower? It must be hard for a spoiled child. I even feel kind of bad. Thank you! I'm here to pick him up! Welcome back! Huh? I can smell the alcohol on her breath. Has she been drinking? Mommy! Sorry to keep you waiting. Were you good? Welcome back, Akane. Thank you so much, Katsura. Can he come over again? Yeah, of course. No! No! Why not? This old man is so annoying! Hey, stop it! <laughs> Akane, can we talk for a minute? Okay. I'd like to discuss your parenting style regarding your son. Parenting... what? After spending a day with your son, there were a few things that caught my attention. I may have overstepped, but I had to warn him a couple times. It just seems like he doesn't quite understand right from wrong. Some parents feel that it may be too early to begin disciplining their child, but I feel that it is best for children to learn how to act in public from a young age. But children don't understand the real world yet, you see? So children that age observe the adults around them and follow their lead. So I feel that it is important that the adults around them act in a way to set a good example. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. After that, Akane refrained from asking me for favors. And if something came up? I'll be going out with Katsura today. Sorry. Oh, okay then. No problem. See you. <sighs> Mom! She would back down easily. A few days later. I wonder who that is. I'll get it. Oh, the Tachibanas. How can we help you? I'm sorry for coming at this hour. I wanted to ask you something, Tsutsuchi. Did my wife leave our boy with you a few days ago? Huh? Uh, yeah. That time that her mother got sick and she had to go visit. I knew it! You were seeing that guy, weren't you? Huh? No, Tsutsuji is just lying! Wait, what? Uh... Shut up, you slut! Calm down, Mr. Tachibana. Stop yelling in my house, sir! Katsura! Why don't you both come in, and we can talk. Okay. I'm embarrassed to tell you this, but I think she's cheating on me. No, I'm not! Don't worry, he's just confused. Well, explain this then! I left my son with our neighbors. I'll be right there. I can't wait to see you! Me too! It's been way too long. I'm excited! This is proof that you left our son and went to meet him! Tsutsuji has confirmed it! You can't talk your way out of this anymore! Uh, that's... It seems like Akane was having an affair, while we were watching her son! Shut up! It's your fault for leaving all the housework to me and neglecting me! Are you serious?! <laughs> Calm down, you two. It seems like the facts are in place, so you two discuss this on your own from here on. Remember to think about your child before you jump to conclusions. Okay. Sorry to bother you, sir. They ended up divorcing. Akane was forced to pay alimony, and the husband took their child and moved. I wouldn't have known what to do without Katsura. You lose, Grandpa! You're so good, Tokusa! It's so peaceful now. Since then, I'm less nervous around my father-in-law. I know I can count on him. 
Chan Salad. My name is Yuri. I'm a college student turning 20 next year. This is perfect! Today is a summer festival. I'm getting together with some friends from home. We're all wearing kimonos together. Yuri! Suji! Akane! Long time no see! You look so cute in that kimono! You guys too! <laughs> <laughs> Next year will be your coming of age ceremony. So I guess this is like practice. What kind of kimonos will you be wearing? I'm borrowing a red and orange one for my mother. Oh, that's nice. What about you, Akane? I haven't decided yet on anything. What? It's only six months away. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, what's the problem? I'll just rent one. They've been sending me catalogs for years. That's way too early. Yeah, I'm renting too. But if you're renting, you better make it quick or else all the cute ones will be taken. Come on, you guys are overreacting. The train is arriving. Oh, the train is here. Hmm. Jeez, the trains are crammed with people heading to the festival. You guys okay? Ah! Suzuki, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But my kimono. Yikes, what should we do? My mom helped me put it on, so I don't know how to fix it. You're fine as long as it doesn't come off. We might as well keep going. Let's go get some crepes. Uh, but... If we don't hurry, all the good spots will be taken. Young lady, did you know your sash is coming undone? Uh, do you need some help with that? What the hell? That's none of their business. Let's just ignore them and keep going. Uh, but... Um... I'm sorry. Can you help me, please? It must have gotten messed up on the train, right? Yeah, my mom helped me, so I don't know how to fix it. Hey, Sisuji, what are you talking about? Leave it to us. We'll fix you up in no time. Thank you both. <sighs> A few minutes later. Done. What do you think? Wow, it's cuter than how it was before. That's cute, Sisuji. Oh, they fixed yours too, Yuri. Yeah. By the way, your kimono is a great handmade kimono, Suzuki. Oh, really? Yuri, your seams were pretty tough to work with. Yeah, <laughs> mine's just a cheap one that I bought at the mall. You guys are just ignoring me. Shall I fix you up too? Hey, my own business, old hag. Hey, Akane. What are you saying? We're, we're so, so sorry. sorry. Uh-oh, looks like someone doesn't like us. Well, we'll be on our way then. You girls have fun. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You guys are acting like idiots. Akane, that was really mean. Yeah, you were rude. Shut up, the sash looks weird. <gasps> Why would you say that? Akane seemed upset after that. Look, a crank shop. Maybe I'll buy one too. Which one are you gonna get, Akane? I lost my appetite. <sighs> I didn't end up having much fun at the festival. I'm home. Jeez, Akane has always been the selfish type, but she seemed especially bad today. Ah, <sighs> feels good to get it off. Kimonos can be tiring. Oh, it's Susuji. Hey, Susuji, what's up? Thanks for today, even though it was kind of awkward. Yeah, Akane was pretty bad today. Yeah, you know how my mom is a kimono dresser? That sash, it was a gift from my mother that was handed down to her from my grandmother. Oh, I didn't know that. So, I can't forgive Akane for how she acted tonight. Yeah, Susuji was usually soft-spoken, and it was the first time that I could tell she was angry. It wasn't like I was close friends with Akane in the first place. So we decided to keep our distance from her. When it was almost the end of the year. Yikes! I got a call from Akane! Hello? Hey Yuri, how are you? Hey, what's up? I was wondering, do you want to go to the ceremony mm -hmm. together? Huh? That day, I'm having Sasuji's mother dress me and we're going together. 
so I can't go with you, Akane. I knew it! Huh? Well, I couldn't get a reservation to get dressed that day. And I remember that Susudi's mom's a dresser, so I wanted to ask her. I haven't spoken to Susudi since the summer festival, so would you mind asking, Yuri? That's why I told you that you should prepare! And you have some nerve to treat your friend like that and try to use him when it serves you! Susudi's mom's fully booked too, so there's no room for you! I'm sorry, but you're on your own! Hey, wait a minute! Akane kept calling after that, so I blocked her. And the day of our coming of age ceremony arrived. Yuri, Suzuji. Hey, everyone! Let's take a picture! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Akane, by the way? Who knows? Oh, there! Isn't that Akane? Akane was hiding in the corner in a dual kimono that wasn't dressed properly at all. Akane, let's all take a picture together. Uh, I'm good. No way. That's all she said before she ran off looking embarrassed. It's such a big day, but Akane looks so dull. You think she did her own hair too? Yeah. <sighs> I heard she got fired from work recently. Well, she's got a terrible personality. She called me suddenly the other day just to ask for money. Of course I said no. It seems like her selfish personality got the best of her at work as well. You brat! Shut up, you old hag! I guess it's true what they say. What goes around, comes around. Where's your chance side? I'll see you later then. Yeah, see you later. Mwah. My name is Kuroki. I just got married to my wife, Yuri. We share a wonderful life together. I have a wonderful wife and a great job. I was happy. But... <sighs> I'm home! Hey, man, I'm hungry. What's for dinner today? Something smells awesome. Um, Kuroki. Huh? What's this? Who is this? This girl. Her name is Yasuria, right? What? Wait, what's this? Why do you have... Answer me! She's just a co-worker. We ran into each other at the same restaurant at lunch, so we sat together. That's all. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. What is this picture? Did you take it? No, Akane sent it to me. What? Akane worked in a different division at the same company as me, and was Yuri's friend from middle school. I don't know what she was up to, but she would send Yuri this kind of fake news. It's nothing to worry about, okay? Alright. Sorry for accusing you. He's definitely having an affair. I eat out for lunch all the time and run into Kuroki often. He's always eating with all kinds of girls. Really? Yeah, and have you noticed him coming home late recently? I heard it's because he's going to the brothels. One of my coworkers saw him. What? This was a lie, of course. I was just staying late at work. But Yuri believed her. Are you sure you're just working late? Yeah, trust me. I would never do anything to hurt you. If you're that worried, you can put a GPS on me. Please. You have to trust me. <sighs> I did whatever I could to prove I was innocent. And over time, I was able to build my trust back with her. Hey, Akane. How is everything? Are you guys still fighting? No, we made up. I just can't believe that he betrayed me like that. Hmm. Akane. Oh, Kuroki. How can I help you? You need to stop feeding lies to Yuri. Yuri's confused, and you're becoming a problem. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But you shouldn't be doing things that put you on the spot, either. Damn. Up with her. Yuri's finally stable. I hope she doesn't ruin it for us. I'm back! Hi, honey. But things didn't go so peacefully. Good job on our first quarter, you guys! Cheers! Cheers. Kuroki, hear me out. My boyfriend has been going to nightclubs without my permission. Yikes, is that so? No wonder you've been unstable recently. <laughs> oh, I, I can't drink anymore. <laughs> hey, are you okay, Yuzuriha? Kuroki, the cab's here. Help her in. I got the bill. All right, sir. Here we go. Sorry about that. 
Thanks, Kuroki. Well, I'll be leaving then. See you. Take care. All right. Are you down to keep drinking? Let's do it. There's this place I wanted to check out. All right, then. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Kuroki. Huh? What's wrong? I knew it. You are cheating on me, aren't you? Huh? Look at this. Akane sent me this. <gasps> what? Why? No, Yuri, this is... Akane told me everything. She said she saw you kissing and leaving in a cab together. She said you were drinking with your boss. And you were with this woman, weren't you? No, that's a lie. Don't touch me. I see how it is. I can't believe you don't trust me. I'm sick of being accused of something I didn't do. Uh, Yuri? I'm sorry. I need some time alone. Damn it! Who wouldn't be suspicious after seeing that picture? I'm in the wrong here. I'm an idiot! No, wait a minute. That girl is the root of all this evil. She won't get away with this! I thought I'd finally be able to go home. This is annoying. You called? Hello there. Is this the woman, Kuroki? Yes, sir. What do you guys want? I'd like to leave if I'm not being paid overtime. Are you serious? You've been feeding lies to Kuroki's wife, haven't you? What do you mean? I saw you guys going into the taxi together. Well, in case you were confused, us four were drinking together. Yuzuriha was drunk, so Kuroki was just helping her into the cab. Well, I saw him touching her all over the place. Don't you think it's inappropriate for a man to handle a woman like that? That's... No, it's not like that. I had tendonitis and couldn't support her, so I had to ask Kuroki to help. I'm sorry, Kuroki. My arm is still messed up. Can you help? Yeah, sure. I'll do it. And plus, Yuzuria went straight home in that cab. Kuroki was out drinking with Takusa after that. There's no way they were kissing in the cab. Whatever. I guess it was just a mistake then. Sorry about that. Wait! Apologize to Yuri, and confess to her that everything up until now was all a lie, too! Huh? Why would I do that? Wait! She was the one who believed me and went crazy, and plus... I feel bad for you, too, Kuroki, for marrying a stupid girl who believes her friend over her own husband. I'll see you guys. Akane! Later? <gasps> Yuri, what are you doing here? These people let me in. I heard everything. I thought you were my friend, Akane. But I was wrong, wasn't I? You're right. I am a fool. I'm sorry you had to hear that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kuroki. <clears throat> Akane, this whole conversation has been recorded, and the boss knows about it, too. Our boss said that if this is all true, then you are a liability to the company. Wait! My boyfriend is a lawyer. He told me that if this is all true, you could be sued. What? Wait! You can't! I was just joking! Akane? Akane! Apologize to Yuri! Immediately! Damn you! Yuri! You've always been smart and popular! You always had everything! You were just born lucky! I'm not apologizing to you! I won't! <laughs> Akane never apologized, and she was fired. Her refusal to apologize ended up costing her more consolation, and we were able to get a restraining order on her. Here, Yuri. Thanks. <sighs> Yuri, let's go on a vacation together. You choose the spot. Karoki, I'm so sorry. I said some terrible things to you. Yuri, we're done talking about it, okay? I'm sorry for yelling at you, too. Let's focus on getting along, Yuri. Okay. Thank you, Kuroki. Yuri seemed depressed for a while. We started inviting her over to our after-work drinks. Yeah, seriously. If someone told me that my boyfriend was cheating, I'd be suspicious, too. I mean, my man. What happened this time? <laughs> 
Yuri, my friend is having a dinner party next week. Would you like to come? Really? I'd love to. She ended up getting along great with my co-workers and seemed like herself again. I'm sure Akane scarred her deeply. See you. Thank you all. All right, who's down for more? Yuri? Yeah? You want to hold hands? Yeah. <laughs> but hopefully over time, I can help her heal. What's the most popular RPG in Japan? Most people would probably give the same answer. It's a game that's been around since I was a child and still releases sequels to this day. Hey, Dad! You know which game I want for my birthday, right? I saw Hiragi playing and it looked so fun! All right, then. The kids still love it to this day. I'll get it for you. Yay! Sweet! Thanks, Dad! I'm gonna go play with my friends now! <sighs> Is something wrong? Oh, Karin. I thought you loved video games too, Takusa. Yeah, but I have quite a history with that game. I quit playing after the third one. Really? I didn't know. What happened? <sighs> well, it's kind of a stupid story, but... When I was in elementary school... Hey look, Tokusa! A huge poisonous swamp! However... Akamatsu cast Safe Passage! The swamp can't hurt me anymore! <laughs> then I'll cast... Defense! <laughs> Why'd you cast that, bro? Why didn't you tell me? Damn, my boots are soaking! Akamatsu is soaking! 30 damage to Akamatsu! Hey, there's no rule like that! We used to love that game. We would always play around like the game was real life. Holy water! <laughs> <laughs> that sounded pretty close. Yeah. I'm scared. Let's go home. Aw, oh, come on, let's keep playing. But... the lightning... Aww... Oh! Don't worry, Tokusa. That lightning was just the zap that I cast earlier. Huh? I zapped the truck that splashed me back there. That truck is a fried chicken by now. So don't worry about the lightning anymore. Let's just play. That's a lie. You can't actually cast spells. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah? Cast a sizzle on that house, then! Huh? And if that house actually burns, I'll believe you! Uh... Okay, then... Sizzle! <sighs> See? You liar! No, I was just low on MP! Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want me to actually burn the... Hey, excuse me! Watch out! Hey, watch out, kids! No, it's just that... We did that! It was our fault! What? We didn't think that the house would actually burn! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I... I didn't think that I had real powers! Oh, no! Um, well... Just tell me where you two go to school. After that... <laughs> Our teacher rushed over to pick us up and take us to school. Our students started a fire?! Our parents rushed to the school, yelled at us, and beat us. I thought I taught you better than that! A few hours later, the police arrived at the school. The gas exploded. They forgot to close their lines. 
The owners have confirmed it. The neighbors heard the explosion too. What? what? Then what about these two? That's what we're here to find out. No, it really was us! Tokusa dared me and I burned the house down! How did you do it? I can't tell you. Why not? If I... If I cast the spell again, this time the school will explode! A spell? I have the powers of a chosen one. With great power comes great responsibility. What? Uh, are you... So this is the burden of a hero. <laughs> Akamatsu! Tokusa, what's this all about? We were able to clear our names after that, but for a while we both thought that spells were real. That story is hilarious! It's not funny! Well, I guess it is. Thankfully the house was empty and no one was hurt, but we didn't know that at the time. And the expression on everyone's face when we said we did it... Brats! How terrible! Horrible parenting! I'd never seen my mother cry. How could you? Tokusa! It was just an all-around traumatizing experience. So when I hear the name of that game, everything just comes back. <laughs> well, you should just laugh it off. It's not good to bottle those things up inside. You think? By the way, you mentioned your friend Akamatsu. I'm back! What's up, Tokusa? Sorry for not calling. I saw Hiragi and Kuroki playing at the park on my way home. No problem. Yay! That story was about you and Hidegi's dad, right? I didn't know you guys went back that far. Yep. Hey, Hiragi's dad! What's up, Kuroki? Hiragi told me. Is it true that you've casted Sizzle before? Hell yeah! I told you, Kuroki! I don't believe you. It's true! I made a house explode! No way! <sighs> Kuroki's dad was there too. Right, Tokusa? Really, Dad? Uh... Yeah, it's true. What? I wish I could do that. Me too. Hiragi's dad, how can I learn to do that? <laughs> you don't want that. You'll regret it. Yeah, I feel dumb for bottling it up. Maybe I'll buy the sequels myself. Yeah, why not? Echa-chan saw it. I'm Yudi. Up until a few years ago, I was working at a famous restaurant as a chef. I quit when I got married. Today, I'm a homemaker. My husband is pretty busy with work, so it can get lonely at times. But we would often invite both our parents to the house and throw dinner parties. Hey, Mom. Hey, Yuri. It's been a while. What's up? There's a cherry blossom festival at the park nearby. Wanna join me for Hanami? Katsura went away yesterday for a business trip, so I could use some company. Sure, sounds good. There was a cherry blossom festival at a nearby park, so I called my family to join me for Hanami. They were doing a story about this on TV yesterday. I hear it's a pretty famous festival. Check this out! A special lunchbox for Hanami. Wow! Wow, sis! Nice! Looks delicious. And the weather, it's perfect. Hanami with family, life is good. You got up early to make all this, didn't you? Hey, wanna order sushi tonight? My treat. Really? Yeah. Huh? A call? Uh. Hello? Hello? Hey, it's me, Azami. Yuri, you live in Etra City, right? I heard about this cherry blossom festival going on there on TV. I'm in town. I'm gonna stop by, okay? What? My husband's sister, Azami. I always had trouble dealing with her. She lives with my in-laws. She's currently unemployed, but she does nothing to help around the house either. Basically, she's a bum. 
Apparently, she likes my cooking, so she comes over often and asks me to cook her food. She's just really selfish. She's a difficult person to be with. The other day, Yuri, you used to work at that famous restaurant, right? Huh? Uh, yeah. So I get to enjoy the same food for free then? Lucky me! I'm hungry. Make me something, will you? I'll be in the next room. Huh? I can't just... She comes over uninvited and makes these ridiculous demands. Mm, this is delicious. Yuri, can I get some more tea? Come on, you have to notice these things yourself. Coming! She usually enjoys the free food, complains about stuff, then goes home. Oh, uh, well, not today. I'm with my family, and we just finished eating, so we're going back. Hanami's over. Oh, really? Okay, then, I'll join you for dinner. I'll see you at your house. Uh, uh my brother's here, too. It's been a year since the entire family got together, you know? Oh, your brother. He's in college, right? I saw him at the wedding, I think. Hope he remembers me. Tell him I said hi. Huh? Well, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Wait, hold on! What's going on? Azami san is coming? What the hell? She's taking advantage of you because you won't say anything. I don't like her. She was so rude at the wedding, too. A handmade sign? Lame. The food and decorations were average at best, and the dress was so ugly. So what do we do about dinner? Wanna go out to eat? No, sushi sounds fine. As long as she gets full, she'll go home, so... I think... She's just really greedy when it comes to food. You've got time, don't you? Come on, cook for me! I came all this way, it's the least you could do. And if I don't do what she says, she'll just complain and give me a hard time for hours. But I get along fine with Katsura and my in-laws. Why is Azami so difficult? That evening... Welcome! Yuri, I love your food. Here I am, as requested. <laughs> so hungry! What's for dinner? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Wait, there's no food. Where's the food? Oh, we ordered some sushi takeout. It'll be here in a bit. Sushi? I can't eat raw fish. Didn't I tell you? What's wrong with you? You should have asked first. It's okay. I remembered, so I ordered stuff you can eat too. Well, I'll be fine, but... Your family is here, right? You should cook for them, just like you do for my parents. You don't cook for your own family? That just makes our family look bad. Right, I'm sorry about this, but take out sushi on an occasion like this? A homemade dinner is the least she can do, am I right? Huh? Uh? Uh? Here we go again. She just wants to give me a hard time. Just take it. What's your problem? She already cooked for us at lunch. And you're saying she should cook dinner too? Give her a break. Jeez. She got up early to make us lunch. Let her rest. But even if it's family, take out, I mean, come on. No, no. We walked quite a lot today. We just want to relax, that's all. We didn't come here expecting my sister to do everything. And we're family. We just want to relax, okay? Everyone's on my side. Thank you. Azami, sorry I didn't cook for you like always. It's just that when I'm with my family, I usually relax. I didn't mean... Uh, I just thought my brother wouldn't approve of this. Oh, Katsura? Hey, we're all family now. No need to cook us huge meals every day, okay? Take it easy, all right? That's what he told me the other day. What? What's wrong with him? Hello, Etra Sushi. Um, Azami-san. So once every leaves the house in the morning. She can't even rest. She has to cook all day long. Is that how it works in your family? Well, I mean, as a homemaker, that's her job, and... Azami-san, are you working right now? No, right. So you cook and clean too, right? You help her, right? 
Uh, well. A chance to strike back. Take it. It's okay, Mom. We don't live together, so it's not all the time. And Katsura said he appreciates that his sister lives with his parents. <laughs> and who knows how many more times I'll be able to cook for her. Katsura gets transferred all the time, so he can't live with his parents. But a zombie san wouldn't abandon her parents. She doesn't work, but that's because she's doing everything around the house, I'm sure. She usually sticks around for a while, but she left early that day. I guess things got awkward, even for her. Take that! Needless to say, Azami doesn't do anything around the house. She doesn't work and she does nothing all day, so her parents were always giving her a hard time. Hello? Katsura? I never told my husband about her because I didn't want to worry him, but I've had enough. I told him everything. Then... Azami! What did you do to Yuri-san? Shame on you! We spoiled you! Get out, now! What? Dad! Katsura's parents heard about all this from him. They kicked her out of the house. Sorry, I had no idea. I was just busy with work and all. No worries. Anyway, is Azami-san okay? Well, she's... Ugh, why won't this work? Ugh, I messed it up. Ugh! My last egg. I need to find a job. I'm running out of money. And if I pay rent, I won't have money for food. Oh, why me? I just wanted to eat Yuri's good food. I heard she's struggling a lot, both with housework and keeping a job. Hey, let's go on a family vacation soon. How about a hot spring resort? Sounds good. Not having to worry about the small things, that's what makes family special. I'm Tokusa. We're on summer vacation right now. I came to a shrine with my friends to go stargazing. Is that Vega? That must be Altair. At first we were having fun picking out all the stars, but let's go home. It was fun, but we couldn't really see much. Buy a better telescope, dude. What? Get your own. Huh? Where's the flashlight? Huh? You had it, right? Where did it go? It's gone! Once we realized that we didn't have any source of light, we got scared. You must have kicked it somewhere by accident! Look again! Yeah! Hey, Tokusa! What, Katsura? You scared me! You hear that, huh? Yeah. Right? Is that? Look at that light. There! I couldn't see very clearly, but I saw a lady. She was wearing all white. Is she... Is she trying to put a curse on someone? I've never seen this before. People actually do that? What the... What's she doing? For some reason, I kind of got excited. But Katsura was scared out of his mind. But I'm glad it wasn't a ghost or anything. No worries, Katsura. I don't think she sees us. Let's get out of here. Ah! I found the flashlight! and ran. We waited for him at the entrance to the shrine. How long is he gonna take? Maybe that lady got him. <gasps> Katsura! You all right? Ka <laughs> sorry about that. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry about all this. Her name was Azami. Katsura, he came back for his telescope, but fell and got hurt. He couldn't move. <laughs> So I carried him here. She was crying because she felt guilty. Your wound, it's all cleaned up, but still. I'm so sorry that I scared you. Call me if your wound doesn't heal. Okay. Azami bought us drinks from the vending machine while apologizing for scaring us. I saw her face when she stood in front of the vending machine. I thought she was wearing all white, but it was just a normal white shirt. What were you doing anyway? You lose a bet or something? Huh? You want to hear the story? Ten minutes later... And then? And then? Azami-san's boss was a really bad guy. But she didn't have anyone to talk to. <laughs> so she decided to put a curse on him. She thought this way she wouldn't actually hurt anyone. But to be honest, I had no idea what she was talking about. 
I thought she was a normal person, but I guess not. Afterward, we took Katsura home and went back to our house. We didn't tell our parents about Azami-san. A few days later... Good as new. Yeah. Too bad. I wanted to call her. You asshole. She was a weirdo, sure, but she was cute, too. Yeah, but... Hey, why don't you call her to tell her that he's all fine now and that she's got nothing to worry about? Yeah! Genius! I was the one that came up with the idea, so I made the call. Hello? Hello? Um, we're the kids you ran into at the shrine the other night. Oh, right. Ah, uh, just wanted to say that Katsura's leg, it's fine now. You called me to tell me? Thanks! Again, I'm sorry about the other night. No worries. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Listen, turns out that curse actually works. Who would have thought, right? I really wanted to tell you guys about it. Glad you called. See ya. We stood in silence for a while. We were terrified. What we went through that night was nothing compared to this. And that was the last time we talked to her. Etrachan solid. A few years ago, I made a few friends at daycare moms with kids the same age as mine. Oh, Susuchi, you can talk. Like, like, already? Wonder when my daughter's gonna speak. No need to rush things. One of them was Yazuria-san. She was from a prestigious family. I heard her husband is joining her family's business. Her family was rich, but... Susuji, let's get going, shall we? Bye! She's so elegant and she's so good with people. I admire her class. All the moms adored her. A few months later... Hello, I'm Ozumi. Nice to meet you. A new mom joined us at daycare, Ozumi-san. She moved here a few weeks ago. Any good pediatrics around here? Etra Clinic near the station is pretty good. What about restaurants I can take my daughter to? Oh, then try the one in Nishinomiya. We started talking more and more. But there was one problem. What a cute dress! Where is it from? Thanks, it's from Baby Etra. It was quite expensive. What? I've always wanted an outfit from Baby Etra, but they're too expensive. Hey, can I have this? <laughs> what? Uh, I just bought it, so... Okay then, when it gets too big for her then. My daughter is small for her age, so I'm sure it'll work out. So try to keep it clean, okay? Well, um... She asked me to give her all kinds of stuff. And the other moms, too. That pancake place I told you about. You can take your kids there and the fruit there is delicious. I wanna go! Take me! Sure, <laughs> what about next month? Could you pay for us, too? What? You went to the zoo? Take me with you sometime. Oh, and Yuri's hair accessories. Can I have them if you get tired of them? She was always out to get free stuff. She was always like this, so people stopped giving her stuff after a while. But... Yusuriya-san, thanks for yesterday. It was a perfect fit. Good to hear. Yuzuria-san was still giving her stuff. Look, Yuzuria-san gave it to me. Looking good, right? You sure you're okay? Sure, I only give her what I don't need. She said it was fine, so we didn't bring it up after that. But whenever Yuzuria-san wasn't around, Azumi-san would say, Yuzuria-san is great! Unlike everyone else, she's so generous! I think she really likes me. I guess I'm special. <laughs> yeah, we never asked her to give us free stuff. She always talked about how she was better than the rest of us. She was annoying, but I only see her at daycare, so... It's frustrating, but whatever. Very nice! And the kids were getting along, so I didn't want to ruin that either. Then, a few days later... Let's all have tea together. Yuri-san and I got invited to Yuzuria-san's house for some tea. Can't wait! Yeah, it's around here. What? Is this Yuzuria-san's house? We arrived at a huge traditional Japanese house. It was straight out of a movie. We walked through the gate and found a beautiful Japanese garden. 
There's a pond! Wow! Then we saw someone unexpected. Hey, you guys! What's going on? Azumi-san, why are you here? Oh, just getting some old clothes for my daughter. We ran into Azumi-san. What about you guys? Uh, I know! You're having tea with her, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I'll come too! Of course you will. But Yazuriya-san doesn't know you're coming. Maybe next time? Who cares? Stop being so stingy. It's just one person. She's rich. It doesn't matter. That's not the point. Yazuriya-san! Ugh, too late. Yazuriya-san and the housekeeper open the door. Welcome. Please come in. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming. Oh, Azumi-san. Yazuriya-san! Hey, can I join your tea party, too? Then... Could you go around to the back entrance? Huh? Karin-san, Yuri-san, come on in. Ah, uh, what about me? Akane-san, can you handle it for me? Yes, ma'am. Azumi-san was staring us down. She looked furious. Come on now. We've got your things at the back entrance. I I don't want them! She stormed out of there. And as for Yasuria-san, she always comes through the back. I wonder why she showed up at the front door today. Not sure if she was being serious or not. Probably the latter. Later. I haven't seen Azumi-san in a while. Good. I'm sick of her asking me to give her all kinds of stuff. I give her so much stuff. Azumi-san stopped coming to daycare. I heard she started going to a different one. And from what I hear, she's not asking people to give her free stuff anymore. I guess that tea party incident really got to her. Who knows? Beware of Yazuriya-san. Etrachan saw it. My name is Susuji. I'm home. Hi, honey. I live with my husband, Kuroki. One day... Huh? A phone call? I wonder who it is. Sorry, my hands are full. Can you answer it? Yeah, sure. Hello? Yeah. What's wrong, Mom? Oh, it's Karin. What?! <laughs> hey, what's wrong?! Dad! Dad! He collapsed! <laughs> He's being treated at the hospital right now! Which hospital?! Let's hurry! Yeah! Mom! Karin! Kuroki. Susuji. How's, How's Dad, Dad doing? doing? Well... Hey! Kuroki! Susuji! Sorry for troubling you. Thanks for stopping so late at night. Huh? huh? This one's fussing about nothing! Oh, shut up! You just passed out on me! Jeez! Well, I guess he's fine? Yeah, it seems so. Soon after. Dad, are you okay? My brother-in-law, Katsura, arrived. What's up, Katsura? It's nice to see your face. What's going on? We sat around and talked for a while, then left Okusa to spend the night. See you guys. I'm glad he seems okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. What's wrong, Karin? There's no way he's fine. What? He's going to be staying for a while. What? But Dad said they were just making him stay just in case. When he collapsed, he was in serious pain. The doctor said that his chronic condition was getting worse. What? You know how he is. He was just pretending to be fine. So from then on, I took as much time as I could to go visit with my husband. He seemed full of life whenever we visited. Does he even need to be hospitalized? I thought to myself. But despite my optimism, his medication kept increasing. He kept losing weight. He stayed in the hospital for six months. A year. And gradually... Gradually... Dad... Tokusa... Oh... I didn't notice... You guys... Dad! Tokusa! I'm sorry... I'm so sleepy... Recently... How... Are you guys? 
Kokusa would always smile to us, so we wouldn't have to worry about him. After two years in the hospital, Tokusa passed away. <laughs> At his funeral, I couldn't hold back my tears. You okay, Tsutsuji? Yeah, I'm just gonna go fix up my makeup. Okay. Oh no, I can't stop crying. Hey, Sasuji. Huh? Oh, Akane? Akane is Katsura's wife. Well, well, that was quite the performance, Sasuji. <laughs> Sorry for being so loud in there. <laughs> that was great acting, though. I mean, you did go a bit overboard, but still. Huh? But you do know that crying a lot doesn't change the amount of inheritance, right? Come on, it's not like we receive it anyways. But I could see what you were trying to do there. <laughs> Your acting almost made me burst out laughing. Akane, what are you talking about? Aw, oh, come on. Don't worry. I know what's up. You think I'm naive? <laughs> I was too shocked by her words to even argue back. But what was more shocking than anything? Even so, I'd rather give more to someone who cries at my funeral than someone who laughs. Was Karin showing up? Karin! This is, um... You don't know this because you've never showed up, but Suzuji was there all the time to see my husband. Huh? Even when Kuroki had work, she came to visit alone. Tokusa always said, It's like she's my real daughter! She's great! We were a family of men, you know? So, I'm sure he's watching you, crying for him like this. I think he's happy about it. <laughs> Akane. Yes, ma'am! Not everyone just acts out of self-interest. You should try switching your perspective sometimes. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am! That was long, Tsutsu. You need a towel for that? You're crying more than before! Why? A few days later. Hey, Mom. Akane's been weird since Dad's funeral. You know anything? <sighs> you think I should tell him? Yeah, why not? Hey, what's with the eye contact? I wasn't planning on telling you, but... <laughs> what the... Unbelievable. She has no idea how much Tsutsuji supported Dad. What am I saying? Of course she doesn't. She was too lazy to even visit a single time. She was late to the funeral, and didn't want to go to the crematorium, and only wanted to take part in the inheritance discussions. K Katsura? That's it. I'm breaking up with her. What? My brother-in-law decided to get a divorce. Hey. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. I've been thinking about this for a while. But more than anything, I don't want her touching a penny of my dad's money. After that, the divorce went smoothly, but... Divorce? Sure, but... How thoughtless. We were married, so you owe me half of that inheritance. I have a right to claim that, right? Huh. You think you can divorce me and keep it all of it for yourself, you asshole? Yeah, I don't want you to touch that money, but that's not the point! Stop making excuses! Fess up! Switch your perspectives. <laughs> this is going to take a while to figure out. At your John side. My name is Karin. I live with my husband and daughter. We live next to the railroad, and the trains pass us by a few times every day. It's only a few times a day. It can be loud sometimes, but for the most part, I enjoy the sound. It adds to the summer mood. <laughs> but one day... Mom, there's someone in the yard. Do you know them? What? Huh? Who... Who is that? Hey, what are you doing here? Huh? Can't you tell? 
I'm taking pictures. What? The man was a train enthusiast who came into my backyard to take pictures of the train. You can't come in here! That's trespassing, you know! What? It's not like I stole anything. I'm not interested in your house, okay? What? Oh! Here it comes! What the hell? What did you do? Did you call the police? Yeah, but he was gone by the time they got here. Plus, he broke the lock on the gate. What? I noticed that. That was his fault? We reported it to the police, but they said that they couldn't do anything unless they caught him in the act. He'll be back for sure. He didn't seem to understand what we were saying at all. Next time you see him, call the police immediately. He might suddenly attack you if you approach him. Okay. One week later. Oh my! It's him again! But there's more of them this time! <laughs> I can't believe this! I gotta call the police! Hello? Is this the police station? There are three trespassers in my yard. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there soon, so keep your door shut and don't provoke them. <laughs> nice! Huh? What's that sound? Huh? <laughs> what? Wait, what? What the hell do they think they're doing in my yard? Alright, where should we shoot the photos from? Oh, this spot's nice! Ugh! I was taking such good care of those flowers! Oh, these tomatoes are nice and ripe! My tomatoes! Let's barbecue these, too! My eggplants and peppers, too! Man, nothing like a nice barbecue under the sun. Nice. Nice place you found, Hiragi. This is our new secret spot. Good work. <laughs> hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? I've been watching you selfish people. You won't get away with this. Calm down, miss. Have an eggplant, man. Those are our eggplants. Why are you eating them? The police arrived soon after. Hey, you three, what are you doing? Leave immediately. You guys are trespassing. Shit, the cops. How annoying. Oh, everyone, here it comes. Whoa, here it comes. Hey, listen up. You guys are trespassing. Huh? Shut up, tax thief. Uh, are you okay? Yes, sir. Nice. We're going to get some sweet shots. Well, I guess they refuse to comply. Yeah, those guys aren't listening at all. 12.45 p.m. You guys are under arrest for trespassing and obstruction of justice. What? What, what do you mean, what? The three were taken away in the police cars. Police should not intervene in civil affairs. The police took the barbecue equipment with them, but... Oh no! Look at my garden! Huh? Yusuriha, I thought you were upstairs. No, I was filming the entire thing. It's all on tape. Hey, that could have been dangerous, but I guess we have proof now. No, this isn't for proof. Huh? A few days later... Dad! Mom! Look! Ta-da! Full footage! Criminal train enthusiast being arrested! It's on YouTube now! What are you doing, Azuria? Is this okay? Yeah, it's no problem. I've blurred out the trespassers and cut the scenes that could pinpoint our location. They'll be on the streets again soon, and it's not like we'll be receiving much in compensation, right? This is how you capitalize. <laughs> the view count is skyrocketing. Jeez, where does she get that from? I'd say she gets her boldness from you. My daughter, Yuzuria, had been doing YouTube for a couple years and decided to publicly release the footage. There haven't been any incidents since, and we get to live in peace again. And the video also went viral. Ta-da! I made a lot of money on that video, so I'll treat you guys to a barbecue. Oh! This steak is so good! <laughs> 
It's Kobe beef. Who's ready for some potatoes? The incident was stressful, but at least we got to laugh about it together. Mmm, yummy. To all the kids out there, don't try to be like those train enthusiasts. Or my daughter. Etrachan saw it? Lawsuits are easy. All you have to do is wear a nice suit and they let you off. <laughs> uh, okay then. And also... Jeez, she's at it again. My name is Karin. I live with my husband, son, my dog, and my cat. I'm an ordinary housewife. My neighbors are easy to get along with, and this is a good neighborhood. I wish. That lady from earlier, Akane, is kind of a pain in the butt. She's been caught stealing many times in this neighborhood. If only she were here. <sighs> Karin! Hey, Susuji. Beautiful day to do the laundry today, isn't it? Kuroki must be excited the weather's so good these days. Yeah. He runs around with a dog all day. He's so energetic. Butterfly! The cat is nice and calm all the time. Hey there! He tried climbing his grandfather's tree the other day. I had to stop him. Oh, are you talking about the tree that Tokusa's father planted for you guys? Yeah, the branches are still thin, so they'll snap if he tries to climb it. That wouldn't be good. But anyways, did you hear about Akane? She did it again. What? Again? Well, they don't have definite proof, but they're pretty sure she did it. Maybe she thinks she can just apologize and get away with it again. Hmm. Begging for forgiveness on her knees was Akane's M.O. According to her... You won't believe what happened the other day! My lawyer told me to go beg on my knees at another person's doorstep! My lawyer took a picture of that and submitted it in court. A mother who's still raising a child is begging like this. There are extenuating circumstances here. He said, and they reduced the fine for me. Isn't that amazing? If I don't get caught, I'm lucky. And if I do get caught, I can beg my fine down. I'm so smart. She's so dumb. Jeez. Is there anything we can do about her? I wish she'd just move away. <sighs> you watch out too, Karin. She's got me before too. I wouldn't be surprised if it was your turn next. Thanks. I'll watch out. I thought I was being careful, but... Mm. Did something just break? Maybe it's windy outside. <sighs> I slept like a baby last night. Time to pick up the newspaper. Huh? What? <gasps> <sighs> Karin? What's wrong? The tree! What? That's Dad's tree. Was it the wind? But there aren't any broken branches around. Hey! Look! Footprints! Call the police! We called the police to investigate. And there had been eyewitnesses who saw Akane carrying a tree in the middle of the night. When she was questioned... I was trying to get onto the second floor of the neighbor's house. That's when the tree snapped. So I brought it home with me. You got a problem with that? That was her story. Damn it! She isn't even sorry about it! The police were able to retrieve the tree. But it's completely broken. We could sue her, but it wouldn't be for much. It means a lot to us, but it would just be considered normal destruction of property. Hmm. I don't care to see her on her knees either. Huh? Did you say she gets on her knees? I got it! Let's make it so she can't get on her knees. Huh? What do you mean? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. First, we'll need you know what. So, we repair two things. <clears throat> we waited for the day that she would arrive to beg at her doorstep with her lawyer. And. What? What the hell is this? Huh? You want to know where they sell gravel and dirt? What are you using it for? Well, you know. So on and so forth. So we're gonna need a bunch of gravel and dirt. Hey, I heard! 
I got plenty of mud and gravel for you. I'll help. Let's get her back. You want some cement too? Is there anything I can do to help? I got a machete too. And no, we're not trying to kill her. And that's how we were able to prepare for her. So, you're here to apologize. Fine, make it count. Give us your deepest apology. Uh... Akane, get on your knees. What? What? No way! Look at all this mud! Yeah, but if you don't... No way! Oh! Oh, you'll have to excuse our dog. So, are you here to apologize or not? What perfect timing. Ugh. No, not here! I can't get on my knees here! Nakane, stop whining! Shut up! There's no other choice, just do it! You do it! Why would I do it? Um... If you're going to fight, do you mind doing it elsewhere? Ugh. Screw this! Wait! Hey! Stop! Shut up! You're useless! What? <sighs> Hooray! You did it, Karin! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, but my father-in-law's tree is... What? It's fixed? All better. This is what happened to Akane after that. She got in an argument with her lawyer, and he dropped her case. <laughs> she couldn't find a new lawyer, and all the neighbors got fired up and started filing lawsuits against her. Arg! We're, We're gonna, gonna sue! sue! And she was locked away. No! <laughs> and finally, the neighborhood had won its peace back. But we became heroes of the town. What's up, you heroes? Huh? <laughs> this is embarrassing. And we were praised for a while, everywhere we went. <laughs>